<laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Kamala and I uh, are here to make a, uh, a brief statement, and I'm sure we'll have more to say later, and either tonight or tomorrow. But let me begin by thanking the press for being here and, and thanking everyone else. My fellow Americans, yesterday, once again proved that democracy is the heartbeat of this nation. Just as it has, has been the heartbeat of this nation for two centuries. And uh, even in the face of a pandemic, more Americans voted this election than ever before in American history. Over 150 million people cast their votes. I think that's just extraordinary. And if we had any doubts, we shouldn't have any longer about a government of, by, and for the people. It's very much alive, very much alive in America. Here, the people rule. Power can't be taken or asserted. It flows from the people. And it's their will that determines who will be the President of the United States and their will alone. And now, after a long night of counting, it's clear that we're winning enough states to reach 270 electoral votes needed to win the presidency. I'm not here to declare that we've won, but I am here to report when the count is finished, we believe we will be the winners. With all the votes counted, we have won Wisconsin by 20,000 votes, virtually the same margin that President Trump won that state four years ago. In Michigan, we lead by over 35,000 votes, and it's growing, a substantially bigger margin than President Trump won Michigan in 2016. Michigan will complete its vote soon, maybe as early as today. And I feel very good about Pennsylvania. Virtually all the remaining ballots to be counted were cast by mail. And we've been winning 78 percent of the votes by mail in Pennsylvania. We flipped Arizona and the second district of Nebraska. Of special significance to me is that we've won with the majority of the American people. And every indication is that the majority will grow. We have a popular vote lead of nearly 3 million votes. And every indication is that will grow as well. Indeed, Senator Harris and I are on track to win more votes than any ticket in the history of this country.